King Samuel Griffo Circus. What the? <laughs> King Samuel Crypto Circus. All right, ready? One, two, three. King Samuel Crypto Circus. <laughs> Sorry, did you didn't check that out. <laughs>what's up guys and welcome back to the channel well it's finally time sorry my shadows in the way to finish the 1050 ti rig on this so what we had here is usually running five 1050 ti's and already unscrewed it but it's a zotec 1650 super so that's coming up and we're putting finally the six 1050 ti's they're all msi gaming x they're all gonna be running in this case so it's been months i had this card sitting around but i just never got around to finish it so it's time to finish it this car is already unscrewed i just gotta pull it out and take it out of the riser the card is out disconnected from the riser and it's a little dusty you guys can see here so i need to really clean this card and get it to to into my other rigs which i'll be running better hash and nice hash on and next step is gonna we're gonna pop this car on power up so you guys can see what it looks like we'll go into the windows we'll set it up and see what's uh projected earning on it right now all right guys the cart is finally in so i'm gonna reach down here get this rig started i have a start button down there i don't feel it will show up in the video i hit start and there it goes they're all lit up, they're all running. Let's see if we can turn off the lights. So you guys can see what it looks like. It's pretty cool. I like them. That's why I got the gaming X's. Not just because they look cool, but that's what I'm basically saying. But they also run a little higher mega hash than the, all the other single fans and everything else. So that's why I got this one. So we're gonna let that power on and we gotta get in the computer, guys, and get it all working. Now the bigger part is that I have to figure out the settings on this card because most of them run the same 85 power limit you know same core same memory but there's ones where i have to lower it by 1020 to get it to run so we'll see what this one does i'm not 100 percent sure either so we gotta give it a little time to boot up and then we'll uh get it going all right so it's powering on i'm still having that trouble where this rig kicks out i'm now leaning towards that it's an internet problem so i'm gonna have to run ethernet cables down to this corner from my um, modem upstairs but it is what it is I guess so we'll get that done as well so this is how it opens up windows we got internet right here is our nice hash and then we got power on our MSI afterburner and then we'll finally have the 6x 1050 TIs running and I'll try to do it I don't know maybe next week just so you guys can see how much I actually learned, earned on a 1050 TI rig a nice hash hoping I don't have any troubles with it. So let's turn on MSI Afterburner and see if it recognizes the six card, which it should, but we'll go from there. All right, see it's four, five currently. Well, let's go into Device Manager. It's probably downloading the driver, getting to recognize the card. Let's see what's going on with that. Two, four, six. Let's shut down the MSI Afterburner. Let's reopen it. I should have it all here. I got two, four, six. Make sure I'm counting right. Yeah, they all don't have any check, anything next to them, meaning something is wrong so it's not booting it up for some reason let's open up nice hash see if nice hash recognizes it if not then i'm gonna have to troubleshoot <laughs> obviously so we'll see here shortly what is going on with it all right guys so nice hash shows all six msi afterburner finally shows all six of them i think it was just the uh it just i needed to give it more time for it to work properly so we're gonna go one two three three all right that's correct so we got 180 on the core 750 on the memory fan 75 i think it should be this fourth card if i'm not mistaken Let's see what this has it yep it's this one so we're gonna go power limit 85 or no not that much let's go 175 just in case this card is like the other one 800 on the memory then we gotta do 75 on the fan speed now we're just gonna double check as you can see this one is 180 750 okay i went too much on the memory let's go back to 750 on the memory on it all right so that's four now number five is the 180 800 as you guys can see and number six is same so i like to go through them i don't know if you guys watch my previous videos i went 
through all all of them just to make sure the fans are set because that's very important if the fans are not set then it's gonna start overheating and it's not gonna be good for it so set all the fans start benchmarking internet is on you can close this and let's see um, what nice hash gives us make sure it runs all the miners I really need to change these drivers because there's different drivers I believe from 15 or 2017 that will give me more hash rate but I haven't done that yet I need to find them and download them but we will do that eventually just to upgrade them it says it's benchmarking oh I forgot I, I don't know why my nice hash makes me do this but I need to turn them on let's move this here I have to turn on some of the cards manually because it won't do it right off the bat so who knows all right we're only waiting on one i believe so to benchmark or oh, i forgot to turn one on nope we're just waiting on one to finish benchmarking which i'm assuming is the new one and then we'll have it fully running and see and double check the temperatures and everything else to make sure it's running correctly as you guys can see it's in the red here not letting me that means that car is not running so one two three four so three is missing all right here comes that benchmark should be up and running there you go all six 1050 ti's are running now i know these are not the uh, best cards in the world but you know i got them just to play with them and then i started liking them because they're low power and yeah 31 32 they should be spinning up now i'm gonna give it a little bit of time because I really want to see what the dashboard's going to say and how much we potentially will be making on them. But I'll do a week update just so you guys can see on them how much they actually made. So it's still building DAG file on them. They're chilling, looking cool. Building DAG file. All right, we got a first share accepted. Right, the only thing that I really want to look at is the temperatures. I know the hash rate should be just about seven, but between seven and seven and a half on all the cards but i really want to check the temperatures and make sure they're correct all right guys we're up and running so we got about between 7.05 to 7.26 it should go to 7.4 or something like that for most cards the only one card that's standing out is number two you guys can see it's running at about 50. i know this is not high but i don't like it running that high all right, now it's at 50. But I don't like it running that hot. I run all of mine under 50, so it is what it is. But it looks good. The rig is finally up. The 1050 Ti's are ready to go and mining, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And the nice hash is saying that we should be making about four and a half dollars per day. This fluctuates a lot, but that's what it's saying right now. We'll know in a week how much we actually made. As always, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and have a nice day. Lashonda Boatwright walks us towards her home, reflecting on everything lost. I got a lot of smoke damage, a lot of water damage. So everything is just destroyed. It's really nothing that I destroyed. can say. Destroyed? Well, the flames overtook Spell her that husband, shit, her joke.